Hello everyone, it's Monkey and FW back with yet another episode of the RC3 Coaster Challenge. In this episode we're tackling the Twister Coaster, which uh, again is another coaster that's kind of redundant, simply because the extended coaster can do everything the Twister Coaster can and more. So there's really no, yeah, no point in using this. Um, but you know, since we're doing the Coaster Challenge, I want to do all of them. Um, by the way, if you've seen me skipping over a few um, before, that's because I'm not tackling the CTRs, which are not original coaster types. They're just added from, they're just mods, basically. So anyway, we're up to the Twister Coaster. And um, for this episode, I'm thinking a launched Twister Coaster. So I'm actually going to use a cheat called David Brabin. We're able to increase the lift hill speed, and that will be our launch. And from there on out, it will have some, uh, yeah, some quick elements. It's got this... Kind of cobra roll, but not really. You know, when the, the corkscrew is done, the corkscrew will go the other way. And got a barrel roll. You got another corkscrew, so it's kind of like a quick, fast, compact layout. Um, I want to. I don't want to say intimate blitz because, of course, it's not an intimate coaster, but it, kind of that feel, if you will. I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but that's the kind of um, vibe I'm going for. So um, yeah, I'm looking at the layout here, and I think it looks uh, pretty nice. I I look, actually really like the. Um, half loop, double course through half loop, and then it goes into that overbank turn. It kind of like really um, fits together nicely in that area. Now for the theming, I'm thinking um, silver track, or you know, gray, like, yeah, let's just call it silver. Silver track with white supports, because um, I think, I'm thought about, I think about naming this coaster the silver bullet, because it's, it's quick, you know, it's got a launch, it's fast, it's, it's fast paced basically. And um, I really think white supports with silver tracks can look really nice. Uh, and it goes well with the name Silver Bullet. But that's, again, that's my humble opinion. You guys can, uh, you guys can tell me if, that's, uh, if this is a good idea. So uh, yeah, we're just going, like, like always, we're going over the right. And we're using Moby Steel Jungle. I know I've said in the past before that, you know, because this challenge, uh, this whole challenge is very long, you know, 70 coasters, coasters in total. Um, I'm not going to resort to using things like Moby Steel Jungle. I know there's a few where I used uh, JCAT Steelworks. But, you know, the more I go down this list and the more I look at, you know, just how awesome Moby Steel Jungle is, I'm like, yeah, just, I'm screwed. I'm just going to use it for most of the designs. Uh, it, it does take a decent amount of time to use it, but it just it just looks so awesome. It's so It, it has so much more detail than JCAT Steelworks with the flanges and, you know, when you place the footers and... It's the slanted support, so I was like, yeah, you know, it, it just, you know, just go through it and just, uh, yeah, because you can see it. I mean, it's my humble opinion, but I think these supports look awesome. So, um, yeah, luckily with this design, I was able to use some pre-made designs that I've used before, and that really helped in uh, cutting down the, the amount of time I needed to build this. And, um, yeah, now that the supports are mostly done, I can focus on the pathing, and this is going to be one of those roller coasters where I want the... Uh, that the roller coaster to be, how do you say, um, encircled by pathing, so pathing are all around the roller coaster. I really like that idea. I'm not sure if that will work. Let's say, let's say you save this roller coaster and you plop it down in the park. I'm not sure if it will work that well because it's got pathing all around it. But just for this single coaster idea, or it's just this cutting because this, this challenge is about a single coaster every time. It, it it looks nice in my humble opinion. So, of course, with the Beasties Path mods, we're going to, of course, add some uh, fencing with just the Shy Guy add-on. Again, this is a, you know, a go-to combination of mine, and I imagine a go-to combination of anyone that wants to place really nice curvy pathing with some nice fencing around it as well. So, uh, you know, it, 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 nowadays, it's, it, it, nowadays, these days, I'm able to actually use this quite quickly and efficiently. And it's interesting because I didn't use Shy Guy's uh, fences before I started the series. So this was a bit of a, um, yeah, a learning curve for me. But now I'm able to use it quite quickly and efficiently, so it doesn't take much time to build this, actually. So we're going to make sure that the queue line has the same color scheme. We're going to add some trees, and we're actually almost done. So it's a nice little compact, um, yeah, launch coaster from B&M, the Twister Coaster. But it has actually a good amount of detail and it looks really nice and I love the layout. I mean, just, just my personal opinion. So um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and hide the interface here so we can get a nice look. And uh, there you go, that is the finished product. It actually went quite fast. Um, mostly because of the uh, pre-saved supports that actually saved me a lot of time. And uh, yeah, just also because I guess I get better and better at uh, learning how to, uh, you know, knowing how to work with custom scenery. Let me just go ahead and save this. 
And um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It's a nice little compact coaster with uh, that packs quite a punch considering it's relatively small format or footprint. And uh, yeah, let's ride this. Let's see what it's like with this uh, launch as well. Let's go. So here we go. Yes. It's a nice speedy launch there into our somewhat cobra roll, I guess. I'm not sure how to call this element into an overbank turn. I see. Maybe I maybe I should up the launch a little bit, but you know I can always do that later. For now, let's just see the layout. Here we go into a nice little barrel roll, and then we turn to the right. A little bit of an airtime hill here. Yeah, it looks like some decent airtime. I think I should increase the launch a little bit because I think yeah, this corkscrew might be a little bit slow. Yeah, I can change that later. That's fine. Nice, and into a final turn and into the brake run. Nice, there we go. Pretty simple, not nothing too crazy in terms of theming, but in my humble opinion, it's a nice, solid design, packs a punch, good stats, and um, I think the color scheme with that name, Silver Bullet, it's just, uh, it's, it's pretty sick, if you ask me. I'm just gonna go ahead and save this, of course, with the theming. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for episode 62. We have eight left, so we're actually almost there. Um, I can't believe I'm actually uh, doing the whole thing because it's, you know, it's quite a lengthy challenge. But uh, it seems like we're actually going to be able to finish this. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. As always, I want to thank you for watching this video. I'll be back pretty soon. But until then, have yourself a wonderful day.